Uh, here's a, a question from Janice. I'm Janice, a mum of two from Glasgow. First of all, thank you, Jason. You've been an incredible guiding light in recent days. My question is, can Jason help those of us struggling with our mental health at this time? I live with chronic anxiety, which I actively and positively manage as much as possible. However, a lot of the language around the journey of this virus creates a sense of indefinite uncertainty, which for those like me triggers feelings of helplessness and pointlessness to a point where some of us feel that the situation will never end. I just can't get my head around what is meant by it will ease, but it won't go away. Will life as we knew it never return? It might seem an indulgent question, but this is impacting on the ability to cope and function in useful ways during the crisis. I know Jason is not a fortune teller, but could he please give us a glimmer of hope that there is light at the end of the tunnel and it's worth striving on towards it? Oh, and you know, Janice, I don't think it's an indulgent question no, at all. I, I think it's think it really what important. A lo what a lovely lady. And she, Absolutely. She asks probably the, the question that Catherine Calderwood and I, the Chief Medical Officer and others, really struggled with when we give the scientific advice about self-isolation and school closures and all of these other elements. There's a cost to what we're doing. Mm -hmm. We're not, we're not uh, unaware of that cost. We don't do it lightly. And when we present that evidence to the politicians and say, this is what we think you should do with the science, that's then a very hard choice for them because there are implications of getting coronavirus, mm -hmm. serious ones, mm -hmm. but there are also implications about keeping people in their houses and worrying them. So I, th I think we have to do these two things at the same time. We, of course, have to do the social isolation and the stepping back. But I think our communities have to step up. And I see that, actually, over the, over the last few days. We're only on day four. It's, we're a, we've got a long way to go. And the media mm -hmm. and other parts of society can help us do that. And Janice will have friends and relatives around her. Janice can help other people. I saw kids writing little postcards and putting them through their neighbours' doors to say, how can, how can I help you? What, what can I do for you? The WHO has very specific guidance about anxiety and mental health in the coronavirus epidemic. Yeah. So you can go there.